Alto. Iria. Yep. 
Easy now. Hey there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's go, boy. Okay, boy. Get in.
Idiot. Welcome back. You must have been traveling for a while. Let me know if I can help you choosing something. Let me see what's available. You don't mess around. Please keep looking. Again. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay, well, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> It seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. For so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! You might want to go to... I shot on a bar! Quick, behind here! There he is! A degenerate! Get down! Uh.
I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! I shot on a bar! Quick, behind here! Keep up! Keep up! We go! We go! <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas... You... You... Shat on their bar? But of course! I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. We go through here. What's this? Quickly! Oh, it's nothing. Uh, I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now oh. get okay, moving, come on. Howdy. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds of... The Holy Nefes. We go through there. How do you do? Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought... The Hush! Hey! I may know these people! But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint-Denis, after all. What are you looking at? <sighs> Bar shipping, money borrowing, wife stealing... You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirt. Look at you, pretty little thing! Woo! I know, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby! I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <sighs> we made here. it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 hey. no, no, no. Uh, I got it. He's out here. I have a lot of friends around here. Charles? Come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. 
So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir.
Done yet.
You made a mistake taking me, but it ain't too late. Let me... They're coming for the prisoner! Confound it. Why is everything so blurry? You didn't get rid of me before, and you won't now. Just keep it civil, if you can. Ah, good to see you. Let me write down the name of that, uh, tailor for you. How do you do, sir? So, what are we looking at? Passenger's a wealthy merchant. Always travels with a lot of cash on him. Details on the note. Okay. Good seeing you, Alden. And you, my friend. And you. Be well. Fine and dandy. Thanks, mister.
What's his name? Huh? You want to play games, what do you? What are you doing? Come on, what? then! No! Let's get play! Off of me. You get your hands ah! off her! You brought hell down on yourself! I'm taking a lot into killing you! You're dying here! are hell on my back. Could you please control your horse? I'm taking us as gently as... Oh, oh God! Somebody... talking about okay okay stop I'll tell you there's a lockbox hidden under the coach the money's in there now I'm just gonna check your pockets you better not be lying to me I'm not I swear I'll come back for you I promise
Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hi there, Arthur.
How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or...
need something to do ah! that door. Get those doors barricaded quick. Good. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Got a hit. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. Let's burn this place to the ground. Damn, Kieran. She's never taking that O'Driscoll in. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Look what we got here. One of their boys. I got you. Go find her. Hold on, girl. Sadie. 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 Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but... Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. A gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. 
If we get the chance, we surely shall. Stay right there! <laughs> Yep.
Yeah, we can get that. Won't take long either. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. That's the same one I use, too. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Nice day. Can't it be like this? Come back any time. I'm always happy to stable that horse. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An un... Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these okay. fine folks. Give me so everything you got. Mr. S, Quick. get that room back there. All your money now. Don't one. make Die. me ask twice. Your choice. Right. Not mine. All right, hand over your money now. Let my acquaintance inside. Come on, it's yours. I said, open the gate and let my acquaintance. <laughs> there's nothing much there's... here. What? Of course, there's nothing. Here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here. And get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Don't move a goddamn muscle. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. 
Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them off, fellas. Look out on the right. We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. Hand up on that balcony. We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out there. Need you on the left now, Arthur. Come on. That was close. Arthur, coming out of the bank on the right. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. Folks, outside the saloon. Oh, damn. We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. Slow this thing down. Now, Jack. The thing's broke. Hold on!
Done. Through here! Let's go! You alright, Dex? I won't lie. I've been better, son. Lenny, keep an eye on! Of course! Shit! They in here, too! We can't let them follow us! This way! Onto the street! Ow! That's how you want to do it? Look out! They blocked the road! We gotta move! Arcee O'Driscoll's jump us and calm down this. We need to wake up.
see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Yeah. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, and we each got $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Hold on, I'll be right there. Hey, mister. Hello. Ah, perfect timing. I've got a message here Hello. for you. <clears throat> this is for you. Watch yourself with this one. Should be two, maybe three coaches, and they'll be well guarded. All right, don't you worry about me. But I do worry. It's my curse.
exactly what I've been looking for. Yep. Easy now.
Come on, boy. Come up here. Hello, Arthur. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. As good as it's gonna be. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? A deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need 
that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. Dance. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Come on, people! It's ready! Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? Ah! For taking my side back there. It ain't about Whoa. sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything. 
is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind you. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. Whoa! Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Hey, what are you doing? Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. He lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Shouldn't be lingering here. Come on. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. What are you doing? Please, when I tell you to keep still, keep it still. Yeah, for Christ's sakes, listen to the man before you get us all eaten. All right, let's keep moving. 
I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. You'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Jules! Over here! That must be him. Over this way! Hello? Here! Help! In the tree! in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Massive. It nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. 
biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... No. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Got the scare! It's over here! Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Well, what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, hey, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. We've got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull! Pull, boy! Jules? Shit. He won't can. No, I'm going in. No, no, I can't lose the boat. Arthur go. I will? Quick! Go on, Arthur! <laughs>
I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him! Shit! Don't let him get any closer! Thanks over, boy.
Come on, let's get. Yep. Mr. Cornwall. It ruined the West. It ruined everything. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Arthur, go with John. Have you got a shot? Something creepy about these statues.
Let's get in there. God's sake, let me. Look out! They must be up there. Let's go.
that close. John! I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Let's go! Come on! Put your gun down! Come on! It's we're getting, we're getting the hell out! Show up. Put him in the front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? Uh, so uh, filth has got to be...
things to do, Miss Jackson. I'm telling you, Dr. This is the way to do this job. Good day, the Mr. Morgan. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in town. Looking. Good Watching morning, Arthur. Them. Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail. I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here. We know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, nope. pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we... One. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost... With all your heart. I'm just tr trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina. And another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. and easy through town now, boys. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, 
They stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Back natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. <coughs> for these safes. Tell them the combination. Come on, speak. Speak. Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? 72. All right, should be one more number. Last number. Come on. 54. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> what did I tell you? Well, well, well. Get out of here! We got trouble! Looks like the law! Come on! Shit. Let's go! Okay. Think we got a problem out here! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friends go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Hosea! God damn it! Kill those bastards! What are you doing? Get him! Be joined. 
over here. Kill that son of a bitch, Arthur! Where are you? None of them walk out of here. Arthur, come on! There's no way that we're getting out that door. Take this and blow a hole through that wall. Okay. Keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. Come on, follow me. Keep it down. There's law everywhere. the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Guard to the left. Stay low.
Someone's coming. Duck. Hey! Hey! They're here! Boats, come on. Just, I hear voices. Tinker Tims. Everyone stay down. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. We should have had them in Blackwater. But that won't happen again. Milton's got men on every street. We can't stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Guard to the left. Stay low. Someone's coming. Duck! I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. Like old Milton said. Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Did you hear that? Jenkins, is that you? Watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for then? Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. What now? Well, at 
least we got some gold. I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John. Lenny. Jose. That wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well. It's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently.
Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. <laughs> you was going to scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la carsa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, dispárales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now? Aiden, I don't know. What are you thinking? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrección. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Vuelvanse. Todos. Come on! 
Come on, follow me. Quick! What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. <laughs> 